Hi guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, nice teacher. Nice to see you again. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Guadalupe. Hi, Veronica. Oh my gosh, there are a lot of people here already. How was the weekend? Great. Very good. Pretty good. Did you have fun? No. Yes, teacher. That's great. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. Let me see my weekend. Um, it was okay. A little busy. I hope you had fun. Okay. Um, let me see. We're going to start. Not here, but... Oh, you know what? We're going to start learning the first conditional tonight. All right. It's a very simple thing. Do you know or do you have any idea of what a first condition is? No idea? Conditional. Conditional. Yes, but to be specific, the first yes. conditional. No. So conditional is something that uh -huh. uh, you use the word if is something unreal situation. You think it's unreal, Ham? Huh? Okay, we're going to see an example, but in reality, this is realistic, okay? We will see how the structure is built. Daisy, now that you're participating, could you read the objective, please? Okay. Uh, by the end of this class, you will learn how to use conditional sentences with if clauses. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, now let's watch the video. Everybody mute the microphone, please. Listen up. Let me share the audio with you. Okay, and we are ready to listen. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure. If clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. or the future. We will explain you. Get a high paying job. Consequence plus future. Okay, so here we have some of the examples, right? We're going to use something important to notice. 
And let me type an example for you. Is that we're going to be using if with um, with simple present, all right? We can switch the position of the sentences, but we can never separate those two, all right? So those two go together. And then we have the second clause, which is the one that expresses future. What expressions can you see that express future in the sentence? What is this? Won't, will, might, may. Are those the one that express future? Do you remember? Yes, right? Okay. Um, this is what I mean. Look, I hope you can see here. For example, if you study hard, can everybody mute the microphone, please? Sorry. It's really noisy. Thank you. All right. If you study hard, what is the consequence? What do you think? You have great You won't have. You will have great result is, or is the consequence. Or Very good. Exactly. This is look at this, guys. This is the cause. I like that word. Cause and effect. Cause, effect, cause, consequence, you can call it whatever you like, all right? This is a structure, and we have more than one expression for this. Hold on. So here it is. All right. Your loud of Newton. <laughs> yes, that's what I think of when I say that. That's Newton, Newton's law. There, look, that's the structure, guys. And we can change the order, so... Is it possible for me to say you will have great scores if you study hard? Is that possible? Yes or no? Yes. No. Yes. yes no. It is. Yes, it is. And you yes. use a you use a comma or not? No. Yeah. Here you're gonna use the comma. Yes. Study hard, comma. Mm -hmm. You will have the okay. results in here. You don't use the comma. Okay. But yes, you can change the order, right? But you can never use if with future, for example. All right. So these mm. go together. Okay. That's, that's the point. All right. Now let's make an example using might. Remember that might is a possibility in the future, but it's not certain. So it's not 100% guaranteed. Okay. For example, let me see, if it rains tomorrow, who wants to complete this sentence? And let's try to use might, okay? So if it rains tomorrow, what? What's the you effect? You might get wet. You might, wet. oh, I like that example. You might get wet. Wet. Why? Hmm. Because it's not, certain right it's not oh you will get wet tomorrow it's like you might, might. if you're not when. careful right so it's a possibility future. in the future what is what is might might is a possibility similar to may so it's like podrías mojarte maybe uh, uh -huh. thank you yeah mm, yeah that's a little bit different let's not get there all right let's Let's do one more example with may, okay? So, hi. <laughs> so we may, if we uh, continue studying English. Look at this example, guys. So what do you think the effect is going to be if we continue studying English? We may what? What's the possibility? Hold on. Sorry, guys. Everybody, please mute the microphone unless you're participating, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Oof, so many people in the house. <laughs> All right. So we may be bilingual. Thank you. Yep. If we may. We continue studying in English, right? It's a possibility. It's not a hundred percent guaranteed. <laughs> kind of the reality, right? It's a personal thing. Okay. Is that clear? 
teacher everybody with the microphone <laughs> okay awesome hold on there now now that it's clear i guess you're ready to practice so let's do that and let's go to section 4.11 and let's do the consequence or the cause depending on what it is Who's here tonight? Wilbert, Alejandro, Rene, Lisa, Franklin, great. Wilson, can you help me with number one, please? Wilson. Okay, okay. If you eat less junk food, the answer is you may lose weight. Mm -hmm. There, I, th I feel like there's more than one valid answer. Let me see. You, you will have more money. Mm -hmm. You might feel healthier. Okay. I'm going to try with the one you're saying, but I feel like there might be more than one answer. Guys, the microphone. Thank you. Oh, sorry. What is the section? This is section 4.7. Guys, the microphone. Sorry. Go ahead, Daisy. Uh, it's okay. Thank you. Okay. Great. By the way, this loose is incorrect. Okay. The spelling is loose. Only one O. Okay. Let's do number two. Rene, go ahead. If you want to work every day, uh, you will stay in shape without joining a gym. Okay. You'll stay in shape. How do you pronounce this, Renee? Walk. Walk. Very good. Walk. Num number three, Guadalupe. Number three. If you don't get enough sleep, you want to be able to stay awake in class. Okay, uh, that works. You won't be able to stay awake. All right, could you mute the microphone, Miss Guadalupe? Okay, thank you. All right, Franklin, number four. If you exercise, you might feel healthier. Let's try that. Uh, Irene, number five. I have a problem with my internet. I don't have connect to Plato. Mm, okay. But can you see it here? I'm sharing the screen. Okay. If, if you don't get it married, Mm -hmm. You will have <laughs> more money. <laughs> you you will have more money to spend on yourself. Is that yes. real? <laughs> Is that That's true? true. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Well, take advice, guys. <laughs> I'm agree. <laughs> I agree a hundred percent. Right. So if you don't get married, you stay in shape. Maybe if everything, right, is applicable. <laughs> you have more money. Yeah. <laughs> Almost yeah. everything. Okay, let's check the answers. Hold on. You will lose weight. <laughs> yes. Ah, exactly. Congratulations. Renee. Great job. No, Renee, you say you're gonna gain weight. Okay. Gain weight. Very good. Now we're going to practice some speaking. All right. For example, one of the questions is going to be as follows. What will you do when you finish learning English? Okay. How would you answer that question, guys? Is this realistic, by the way? Is it? 
Yes, it is, right? It's not imaginary. It's not a hypothetical situation. It's nothing like that. This is very realistic. And we, this is the first conditional, all right? And it is realistic. So I'm going to give you some real situations, okay, or possibilities. And you're going to discuss those. Who would like to answer this question? We're going to practice some speaking. Let me see. Uh, Rina, what will you do when you finish learning English? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you have no plan still? No. Okay. <laughs> Think of something. Hold on. Mr. Juan Luis. Hi. There you are again. Juan Luis. Not there. I don't know. Hello. Hello, Hi. teacher. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. I'm mute. Um, I think if... I finish learning English. I, I will uh, um, study another language, French, for example. French? Yes, maybe. Okay. If finish English. All right, guys, I want I want to tell you something before we start practicing, okay? The natural way of saying this answer would be if I ask you, right? Uh, what will you do when you finish learning English? The most natural answer would be, I will learn French, as he said. Okay, but in this case, since I want you to practice the structure, we're going to do it with clauses. So you're going to say, if I finish learning English, I will study French. Okay, I want you to say the complete statement. Not natural, but, but just to practice. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Yes, teacher. Yes. I'll send you the invitation right now. Please accept it. And give me one minute to send you the questions, all right? Because I, I need to get them quickly. All right. Accept the invitation, please. Accept the invitation, please. <laughs> Hi, Wilbur and Irene, did you get the invitation? Alejandro, Mr. Alejandro, could you please accept the invitation? Great. Another, another job. Another job. I will okay. find, because he has fun of fun, I don't know, I will fun. find them. Find them. Fun, fun, encontrar. Sí, like a Nemo. Find. Find a Nemo. Find. ¿Cómo es find? It's in, find. in present. It's in present. Find. Thank you, teacher. I, I will find another job. Okay. Then, yeah, and you, Tani, what will you do if you learn? You have to eat, to eat, 
uh, you have to use the structure if. I don't know. When you answer, you have to use a complete structure if. Right. Yes. Let him think about it and give him an example. Rina, are you there? Could you start the questions with Veronica, please? And yeah, Rina and Veronica. Yes. Uh, what will you do if you lose other oh, <laughs> You have a, another option. Just just looking for another job. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. And you, Franklin? If I lost uh, my job, I will go out uh, to the Salvador. <laughs> <gasps> wow. Frankly, Frankly, you would leave. Radical decision. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or you would move to another country. Number three. What will you do if you lose your keys? If I, if I, if my, my keys, I, I try to uh, open the door with uh, other thing. <laughs> with another object. Without another oil, uh, a copy of my kiss. Okay, and you, Veronica? It's Rina. It's Rina, perdón. Um, if I lose my kiss, I will. I will try to open the door with. Um, how do you say palo? With a stick. How do you say? Palo. With a stick. Um, Tree harbor. Rina. A stick? Yes. A stick. Yes? Mm -hmm. A stick. A stick. Yes, stick. Okay. Um, I will try to open it with a stick. Exactly, perfect. Make the final exam. Oh, exam. <laughs> is the problem. I heard that. I heard that. It's what happened? Problem. Yeah, it's a difficult <laughs> problem. <laughs> oh, you need, hold on, you need to be creative because look at me right now, I'm not home. I I don't have a laptop, but I figured it out. So if that were the case, you need to find a solution. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> Continue, I would like to hear you. Okay. Continue. You finished the or question? I sent you repeat. Three repeat no, again. I sent you, I repeat. Sent you images. Did you see them? Okay. It says, what, uh, what would you do if you argue with your best friend? What will you do if you're late for work tomorrow? Did you see all of those? Yes. Okay. Okay. Make a question. Uh, William. William, what, what would you do if? <laughs> what will you do if you are late for work tomorrow? Uh, if I late to work tomorrow. Uh, they will, I don't know, is correct to say discount? Yes. Okay. If I wait, is if I late tomorrow, is I if I are am you, late, if I am late tomorrow, my work, work late. Hold on, Mr. William. If I am late for work tomorrow, or if I get to work late, if I get. 
to work late. Yes. They discount me the pay, the, 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 the entire, entire day? Yeah, that's okay. But you didn't use the first conditional. You had to say, if I am late for work tomorrow, they will, or they, they might, will, or they, they may. They will, this, they will discount? Yes. Entire day? Is correct? Day. Yes, it is. Great. Okay. The next. What will you do if okay. your laptop breaks down, yes. Anna? Sorry, I sent three images total, right? Did you see them? Okay. Three images what? total. What? I sent a total of three images. Anna, ah, Selena. Selena. Hello. Hello. Selena. Hello. 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 Sorry. Probably I. <laughs> uh, I don't know because I don't have a, a boyfriend and I. <laughs> if I. Yes, it's a real situation. I. No, no, no. But when, I do, it says your ex-boyfriend. Um. You do have an ex-boyfriend. Everybody. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It is realistic. Okay. So what will you do? So, so I'm lost with my best friend. Uh, with my best friend. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I will try to I don't know how do you say traducir translate translate, translate. I translate the lesson to Spanish okay <laughs> you Rene? okay if I don't understand the lesson I could find out anything else on internet Oh, nice. Good strategy. Or something else. Like additional okay. material, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. In your case, Nubia? If I will, I, if Sorry. I, if I don't understand the lesson, I will look for in YouTube. On YouTube. On YouTube. Perfect. Okay. William. Mm -hmm. uh, what it means? Some words, I think. Okay. And um, so for the meaning of some words, right? Excuse what? me? Sorry, you would look for the meaning of some words. Meeting? No, you would look for the meaning of some words. Ah, okay. Right. I'm look. I, I will look. I will I will look for the meaning for, of some words. For the meaning of some words. Okay. Yeah, very good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If my friends forget my birthday, yeah, I, I will get angry too. Oh, so they, they have done that this year. <laughs> How did you react? So you have been angry. It's yes. If my friend forget your yeah. birthday. Forget my birthday. My birthday. Uh, I will. Uh, I I I will uh, excuse me. You will forgive with, them. With with he. Oh, uh, you you would ask for forgiveness. Okay, teacher. Or you would excuse yourself. Yeah. Okay. Rina, how old are you, Rina? 
25. 25, okay. Now, I was wondering, because you said you would get mad at your friends. <laughs> so I thought, oh, maybe she's very young, because it's not a common answer anymore. And what did you do that time that they uh, they forgot your birthday? How did you react? First, I was like, oh, they are, they are kidding. They didn't forget it. And then they didn't say anything. But uh, one of them said, oh, today was her birthday at the final of the day. At the end of the day? I, at the end of the day. And then everybody remembered that. Oh, no. That's terrible. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. What's the next question? Let me see. Uh, Veronica, can you read it, please? Um, what will you okay. do? Okay. Yes. What will you do if your target target your you best argue. friend? If argue. You argue. No, sir. Argue. What's the meaning of argue? What is argue? No. What the mean? Did you... argue. You. Argue. Uh. Argue. Argue. Perfect. Are you okay? Look at this. Guys. Look at me. Look at me. This is fight. Okay. Okay. And okay. argue is like, hey, why, why are you here? That's argue. Okay. Mm, okay. <laughs> Aruñarse. No. No. Insultarse. <laughs> Solo insultarse. No, 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 not I really. Know. It's more like a disagreement. It's only verbal. Discusión. Yes, exactly, exactly. Because okay. this cause, when you say this cause, it's, it's a neutral thing. It's not a bad thing. So you have this cause, you are discussing right now. Okay. That yes. argue, which is negative. Yes, my are. Uh huh. For a... Yes, there it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Anyway, the next. What would you do if your best friend asked you for money, este, Tony? Tony. My 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 best friend. If when my best friend asks me for money, I will um, I will listen for the something help okay i don't understand listen why are you saying listen for me hello what, what do you mean mr tony i cannot understand okay so if they ask you for money you will do what I I listen my just I I will listen my friend for something help um, for the money the explanation okay no yeah I don't think you mean to use listen so I will try to help my friend right. The reason. Welcome back. I will ask some of you some questions. Now I'm curious. All right, quickly. Uh, somebody answer. What will you do if your laptop breaks down? Anybody can participate. If 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 my laptop sorry if if my laptop breaks down, I think I I will buy a new one. Right. Since you're saying I think you have to use I might think, or may. Okay. I think I might. I think I might buy a new one. Buy a new one. Okay. Very good. Next question. What will you do if you see your ex boyfriend or ex a girlfriend. <laughs> Run away. 
This question is for our Nubia teacher. <laughs> ah, okay, hold on. Nubia, tell me. Uh -huh, Nubia. What do you have to say <laughs> about this? <laughs> what? <laughs> what would you do if you see your ex-boyfriend? Uh, I will say only hi. <laughs> Ah, okay. That say the true, say the true, Nubia, say the true. Yes, yes, Nubia, tell me. <laughs> My boyfriend with me. <laughs> Sorry. Two times. Ah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So you, you will try to convince him to get back together. Right? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I think that's what you meant. All right, and the last question. Yeah. I'm matando. Anybody? So what will you do? Oh, yes. Move the microphone, please, and let me participate. Got it. All right, the last question. Anybody can participate. What will you do if you run out of money? If I run out of money, mm -hmm. bro, I, I don't like to lend money, but it, but if I have a big problem, sorry, with you don't like to borrow money. Ah, oh, sorry, I don't like to borrow money, but yeah. if I have a big problem, I will borrow money. Uh huh. I I might right or I will. I might. Yes, guys, borrow remember money. that borrow is when you, uh, I, don't, oh, okay. I don't know how to use this pretty well. So when you borrow is when you take the money, right? And when mm -hmm. you lend is when you give the money, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Excellent. Now, Mr. Juan Luis, can you read the objective, please? Okay. Um, in this class, you will read, oops. In this class, you will read an article about falling in love. As you read, you develop skills in reading for specific information. Very good. So everybody try to get on the platform if you were not there yet. So it's section 4.13. Right. right. And we are going to practice this in pairs. So what I would like you to do is take turns in reading the article. Read one paragraph per person. Guys, mute the microphone. All right. And, and then we're going to, I want you to watch the video, all right? Let's do that first, and then the article. Hold on. After what you have read, can you tell us which one is more difficult for you? Falling in love or staying in love? Share your opinion on our discussion box. All right, so those are the questions you're going to discuss. Let's read the article. I will make groups of three. If there's new vocabulary, please take notes and discuss it, all right? Is that clear? Yes, teacher. All right, let's practice. Yes, Accept the invitation, please. Okay, let me go. Ay, pero no encuentro lo que. We can we can read one by one. Okay. Yes. You first. First. 
Who? Irene or you? I don't know. Excuse me. It's okay. Four point thirty. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, ¿En cuál párrafo estamos? If you are falling one. in love, the second one. If you're falling in love, yes. Yes. Ese es el que voy a leer ahorita. Yes. You'll find yourself there. You'll, you'll find. You find yourself talking to or telephoning the person for no reason. You might pretend that there's a reason, but often there is not. Okay. You will find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, a friend begins. You interrupt with, my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last night, last week. Okay. Next. Okay, Rina. You might... So you might... You might suddenly be interested in things you used to avoid. When a woman asks, asks me to tell her all about football, I know she's falling in love, said a TV sports announcer. Okay. Okay. So you're falling in love. But falling in love is one thing. And style. If you are falling in love, you'll find yourself talking to or telephoning the person for no reason. You might pretend there's a reason, but often there's not. <laughs> Teacher, what's mean crush? A crush is amor platonico. Mm. Do you know Estamos what that is? Do you know what it is? And this, okay. Sorry. Uh, what's mean crush? Amor platónico. Amor uh, uh, aplastarde. <laughs> you can be yourself with this person. When you first fell in love, you were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself. But now you can be totally honest. You can trust him or her to accept you just as you are. Falling in love is great. Staying in love is even better. Okay, finish it. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go back and discuss the questions, okay? Okay. okay. Vocabulary. Okay, did you finish reading the articles? Yes, teacher. Well done, yes. very good. Any new vocabulary? Mm. Nevertheless. It probably says nevertheless. Yes. Let me see that. Yes. However. Nevertheless. Like however. Uh -huh. Nevertheless is similar to however. It is mm -hmm. used to contrast something it's similar to saying but all right is that clear yes. okay yeah. what's the meaning but say it in english all right not spanish what's the meaning of fall in love enamorado yeah i said those in things english in <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah yeah all right that's it what about and you, like you, you feel something about a person. Mm -hmm. Something, something special. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. 
everybody with the microphone, please, and if they're participating. Noisy. Okay. Um, what about your crush? What is the meaning of that in English? Crush is, is like English. when you when you see something when you are young. It's uh, <laughs> like you uh, pass. I don't know. You feel some. You feel something for someone, but the the feelings are not too strong. <laughs> you what say a platonic love. Yeah, yeah. Your crush. Where, okay. where is the word crush in the article? Because I don't see it. What teacher? Where is the word crush in the article? What paragraph? One, two, three, or four. Where? The first paragraph. The first. For fourth line. line. Yes. In the fourth. Ah, just a crush. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a crush mm -hmm. is when you really like somebody. And sometimes it's possible, sometimes it is possible, but you just have that that feeling there. It's not love, it's just a cross. Cupido. You remember that song? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm obsessed. So it's more like, teacher. yeah, like <laughs> some of you know it. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. Well, that was a popular song back in the time. Mm. I mean, so it's something like that. Any other new words? Ne nevertheless, uh, nevertheless is similar to that to contrast an idea. Look at this. Yep. Like, like, because I, I think you're not listening to that specific part. Like, saying, but, all right, nevertheless, or however, nevertheless, but. Very good. Now, if being, falling in love or staying in love? That's the discussion question, right? What's more difficult, guys? Love. Or staying in love. Staying in love. Staying in love. I want to hear the voice of experience here. So, <laughs> what's the meaning of staying in love? <laughs> staying like for me. You're it's in more love. difficult staying in love. Because the second is a decision. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mr. Juan Luis, what do you have to say about this? Yes, it's correct. Staying in love is most difficult. But why is that? <laughs> why? Mm -hmm. uh, I think in, in, the, in the time, the love is converted in friendship with your... With your um, with your spouse or girlfriend, right? With your yes, partner. or your wife or, or husband. So it becomes friendship. Yes, hmm, that becomes sense. friendship. Yep. Let me see. What do you think, um, Carolina? You also have experience in this topic. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. the um, the most difficult she looks falling in love i think that uh, it's difficult when the crush was, uh, is living in a not very far in another country okay so it's difficult to stay in love if you guys live in different countries another country because he he is very far uh, you can uh, speak for cell phone or for video, but it's I not the same because yeah. oh, she is far in the, in the, for for the the boys. Mm -hmm. I don't know what is a difficult topic for me. <laughs> oh yeah, but staying in love is not limited to distance. It's simply. To stay in love and remain in love. <laughs> and, 
Okay, now I would like to hear Elisa. Tell us, Elisa, what do you think? It's more difficult to stay in love mm -hmm. because it's a feeling um, more deep. Or deeper. More deep. Yeah, it's a, it's a deeper feeling. Mm -hmm. And for the, this reason? <laughs> instead of for this reason it's better to say because of that because of this or that's why okay or that's why uh, both because of that are are difficult both are difficult mm, okay i will well, tell you what i think i think falling in love may be very easy and it doesn't last long this wears out quickly right but staying in love yeah that takes longer because it's a decision and it's also friendship and it's real falling in love is just um just a feeling and it doesn't remain okay that's what i think <laughs> so we all agree do you have any questions? the low the low is not too easy love is not easy it's nice <laughs> any no, questions you have to do it easy Sorry? You have to do it easy. Ah, you have to make Hello? it easy. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Nope. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> All right, great. Uh, it was a pleasure seeing you guys. I guess I'll see you again tomorrow, right? See you at... 8 p.m. <laughs> Don't think about love, all right? Think about your friends and family right now. <laughs> Better. I'll see you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Thank Bye. you. Bye. Good night. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Good night, teacher. Everybody. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye.